However, our most essential learning competencies visualizes and represents division and writes a related equation for each type of situation. Equal sharing, repeated subtraction, equal jumps on the number line, and formation of equal groups of objects. The session title is Let's Understand Division. The duration of the session is 1.5 hours, and the target audience are the grade 2 pupils. The session goal is at the end of the session, the participants are expected to visualize and represent division and write a related equation for each type of situation, equal sharing, repeated subtraction, equal jumps on the number line, and formation of equal groups of objects. The key understanding to be developed are displayed understanding on visualizing and representing division equation. The learner's ability to represent division equation as equal sharing, repeated subtraction, equal jumps on the number line, and formation of equal groups of objects. The learning objectives are, at the end of the lesson, the participants are expected to 1. Identify the parts of a division sentence, namely dividend, divisor, and quotient. 2. Show different ways in visualizing and representing division. 3. Write related equation in each method in visualizing and representing division. And 4. Share what they have to others. The resources are PowerPoint, Video Clip Link, Mathematics 2 Teacher's Guide, Math Textbook, Lesson Guide in Elementary Mathematics, and MILK. For the introductory activity, the teacher will do the following. He or she will give short greetings. He or she will introduce herself or himself to the learners. Check the attendance. Remind them the Google Meet etiquette and present the objectives of the session so the participants will be redirected. For the learning activity, the first thing that you are going to do is you will flash subtraction cards as part of the drill. For your review, you will ask the pupils how many or how many groups of three as shown in the picture. How many groups of seven? How many groups of four? How many groups of two? And how many groups of ten? Then, for the motivation part, they will play the boat is sinking. This is a pandemic style. So, in this game, instead of Division. And for the analysis, the teacher will facilitate further discussion by presenting different division situations. Like for example, in this situation find, found in slide 32, Gerald equally shared 12 pieces of biscuits to his four friends. So as your participants should draw 12 circles to represent the biscuits and group the objects into four by ringing the objects. And then after doing that, the participants or the pupils will fill in the table found in slide 31 to 33 like the total number of objects, number of objects in each group, and the total group. Then ask the pupils what will be the dividend, the divisor, and the quotient. What is the division equation, and how do we write related equation using equal sharing? 
Then you will present another situation showing repeated subtraction wherein you will let them write 20 then subtract it by 4, continue this until no more left. After doing this, let your participants or pupils to fill in the table found in slide 3. You will ask them what is the highest mean when, the common subtrahend, and the number of times you subtracted. Then you will ask them again what will be the dividend, the divisor, and the quotient, and what is the division equation, and how do we write related equation using repeated subtraction. And then you will present another situation. Uh, this situation will be um, divide a 6 meter of tying wire into 3 pieces with equal length. Then you will ask your participants to draw a number line from 0 to 6, then make 3 equal jumps. After doing this, let your participants to fill in the table found in slide 40 to 42. The last, <clears throat> you will ask them the last number in the number line and what is the distance between the jumps and the number of jumps. Then you will ask them again what will be the dividend, the divisor, and the quotient. What is the division equation and how do you write related equation using equal jumps? Then you present the last situation found in slide 43. Then after the last situation presented, you will let the pupils draw 15 balls into 3 by reading the objects. After doing this, let your pupils part or participants to fill in the table found in slide 44 to 45. You will let them fill in the number of objects in all, the number of objects in each group, and the number of groups. Then you will ask them what will be the dividend, the divisor, and the quotient, and how do we write related equation using formation of equal groups of objects. Okay, and then for activity 1, this will be its show time. The participants will visualize and represent division situation using the different methods. Let the pupils independently answer the activity found in slide number 46. Call anybody to answer and to show their answer. Then for activity 2, learners will give related equation in a given situation found in slide 47 to 48. Then call anybody again to show their answer. Then for the abstraction and generalization part, you will present the questions and generalizations through a slideshow. Number one, what are the different parts of a division sentence? Two, what are the different ways in representing and visualizing division? And three, how can we write related equation in each method in visualizing and representing division? There's a note here that you will let the people answer the question in their own understanding. is let the participants fill in the blank to complete the information on how to write related equation in each method in visualizing and representing division. You will choose the correct answer inside the box. So dividend, divisor, and quotient. You will do this orally. For example, in writing related equation using equal sharing, the blank is the total number of objects in the set. The number of objects in each group is the blank, and the number of groups or set is the blank. In writing equation using repeated subtraction, the highest mean when is the blank, the common subtrahend serve as the blank, and the number of times you subtract the common subtrahend is the blank. And in writing equation using a number line, the last number in the number line is the blank, the distance between the jumps is the blank, and the number of jumps is the blank. For formation of equal objects, 